we've been keeping track of critics of Snyder and in particular Justice League, but within Justice League itself, we have various characters. And in particular, Wonder Woman has become a source of controversy. Now, to be fair, person in question did not know some of this information because it's very, very recent. So I'm going to treat it as its own specialized subclass. It's relevant to the general issue of the Snyder Cut, but if you're just a more of a Wonder Woman fan, hopefully this will be somewhat informative and we'll try to be as fair-minded as possible. But Again, it's a very, very confusing set of remarks, but let's let the person speak for themselves and hopefully we'll learn something at least. Why is Wonder Woman looking like she's seen the fucking bus roll in? This is Dark Side Woman. This is the future you are most terrified of. The war that you were warning people about. Can you please, for once in your screen time, look like you care? Kalel, no! That was a fucking retake, by the way. Kalel, no! Gal Gadot's acting is such a meme that they tried to fix this particular reading with a re recording and it still sounds like ass. Kalel, no! guess we're going to say several things. One is that you're saying Gal Gadot is a terrible actress. A very contested subject, given what Gal Gadot has told us. That, namely... Now, to be fair, okay, th she said before that Joss merely said something to her, which was offensive. She didn't specify. But now, after May 8th, she has specified that he definitely threatened her. And, on top of this, she felt that certain dialogue for Wonder Woman was character assassination. It didn't feel like Wonder Woman. A little different. I mean, what the fuck took her so long? She moves at the speed of sound and tanks headbutts from fucking Superman. <sighs> Wonder Woman is no longer just a rapist, she's a psychopath. Congratulations. Her characterization in this movie is fucking embarrassing. When looking strictly at her actions, she's joined the ranks of some of the most reckless heroes. Heroes that are in the job for the appreciation, but scenes that are specific for telling us who she is are essentially non-existent. I lost someone I loved once. No, you lost him twice. I shut myself off from... from everyone. No, you continued saving people for years and you rescued the planet from destruction thanks to wishes going awry. My goodness, thanks for respecting continuity there, Zack. Or Patty. You guys can figure that out. I've killed things from other worlds before. No, you haven't. Okay, as an alternative, how about she has a scene where she explains her shame in failing to step up as a leader because she believes that Steve's death is just one example of the many to come when she begins to tell people to put their lives on the line for a cause. But now you can say, okay, well, strictly speaking, he's only talking about the acting. The acting is terrible, and that might be true whatever the version we're talking about. Okay, that's a fair point to some extent. Maybe Gal Gadot's acting does need improvement. However, you're also saying that the Wonder Woman Zack Snyder is giving us is not within the continuity of what Patty Jenkins has given us. And Patty Jenkins is on record that she does not consider the Whedon cut to be canon with her Wonder Woman. So you're just wrong. But again, as a final thing, you might say that continuity itself is not an issue. I'm just looking at the films. I'm not going to go to Jenkins or Gal Gadot. But you are. You're not saying that Wonder Woman's a bad actress. You're saying Gal Gadot's a bad actress. And on top of this, that Wonder Woman's a rapist. And that Jenkins turned Wonder Woman into a rapist. This is very confusing because even if the Snyder version was out of continuity, wouldn't that be a good thing? Or do you want... Wonder Woman to be maintained as a rapist. Also, you never explain why she's a rapist. Supposedly, this is just an objective fact about Wonder Woman. Jenkins' Wonder Woman is a rapist, even without any evidence or argumentation. Okay, that's pretty weird. Okay, so at most, this is not strictly a contradiction, but it is very confusing. But as we go further, it's going to sound really, really, really crazy. So, she returns right as he shoots the gun. Was she waiting to look awesome as she saves people, or did she really only turn up one second earlier than needed? In which case, lucky as fuck this guy ran out of bullets and took exactly as long as he did to reload, or things might have gone a little different. I mean, what the fuck took her so long? She moved well. Remember Wonder Woman's theme? The thing they play when she's about to commit a war crime? <laughs> Okay, so now on top of all this, you're saying that Wonder Woman is a war criminal. But the war criminal part comes from the Jenkins version, which is kind of bizarre because you were saying earlier that the Snyder version is not within the continuity of the Jenkins Wonder Woman. 
So that's kind of confusing because Zack Snyder's a producer of Wonder Woman. At least at that time, he was officially within the DCEU. So he had to see the script and either approve or disapprove. And the way Patty tells it, that Zack was very supportive of her vision. This is very confusing. You're saying the Jenkins version has a war criminal and a rapist, and Zack should have kept continuity. She's also apparently an egomaniac, but nowhere do you provide any statements, any evidence, any research, any articles. I mean, listen, if you're getting fired upon by uniformed soldiers, you killing in self-defense is not a war crime. That's pretty obvious. You don't need to be a legal expert to know that. But anyway. And then as a final note, you're making these weird illogical statements about the terrorists and their bullets. All guns have limited bullets. All guns, by definition, will run out of bullets. So it's not lucky that, oh, it's real lucky, you, the person ran out of bullets. They're going to run out of bullets anyway, unless the person has the Infinity Gauntlet or their Thanos, or he has a mutant power that he can keep creating bullets. He's going to run out of bullets. So what exactly are you saying? Are you saying this is a magical gun? Are you saying he has special powers we're not aware of? He's going to run out of bullets regardless. That's why she concentrates on saving civilians, because he has to run out of bullets. Period. That's going to happen even in this fictional reality. So unless you're saying there's something radically exceptional about this person, they're going to run out of bullets. So is that a joke or is that just you being stupid? Hard to tell. So this is a bit all over the place in terms of what Wonder Woman is or the way she's being interpreted. She's being interpreted as a rapist, an egomaniac, and Zack Snyder should have kept continuity with this. But the Joss version is so much better because she's caressing Ben Affleck for a couple of seconds. I don't know. She has brighter colors. Again, I'm not even disagreeing with him that Joss on the whole is a better writer than Zack Snyder. I think that can be shown easily. However, the question is, is he a better writer of Wonder Woman? You're not providing much evidence that he is. So, But we'll go through this more carefully because this is an interesting and important topic. Not just for Wonder Woman, but how female characters are in all fictional universes. But so far, it's not a very impressive defense of Whedon. At least not so far.